Hey everyone, it's Vicki from Messy Table Studio. I am here this morning with a video that will have hanging things in front of it. <laughs> I'm trying to get them out of the way. Oh my gosh. Anyway, um, I know my desk looks, well, you can't see it. My desk looks like a bomb went off on it, and it pretty much did. This video is about a person I only know on Facebook and through um, craft groups, art groups, um, named Janet. Janet's husband recently passed away, and Shelly from craft, Shelly Land from Crafting Mamas, and I think Malia Moriarty are doing an auction on February the 4th to help the family of Janet. So I want to show you the items that I'm putting in the auction so that you can be thinking about bidding on them. I didn't put any price suggestions and this stuff, I looked it up on Ravelry, was mostly knit in 2011, 2010, 2012, maybe, well, 2010 through 13, a long time ago. So let me start with the first thing that I can identify. I'll go some of the oldest ones to the newest ones. So let's do this one. It's a small one. This is called Horseshoe Lace Cowl. And this is it. It is in gray. I knit this myself. Um, I hope this is the Horseshoe Cowl. Like I said, this stuff was knit like eons ago. Um... And I kept it because I really liked it, but to be honest with you, I don't use it, and there's no point in hanging on to it, and I don't live anywhere cold enough to really use it. Well, I say that. <laughs> so this is um, Unknown Yarn. I'm sure it's some kind of a wool mixture. It's really soft. It's not scratchy at all, or I wouldn't have put it, made it to put around my neck. Oh, this is the top. Sorry, I think this is the top. Well, this is scalloped on the edge, and then this is just bound off. All right, so this is the first thing. It's called the Horseshoe Lace Cowl. Second one is called the Buy a Shawl by Helena Bristow. And the yarn is unknown. I have a feeling it's some kind of a cotton blend, but to be honest with you, I'm not really sure because, like I said, I made this years and years ago, and I'm not sure. But I, hold, I held on to it because I, I liked the colors at the time. It's very long, you know, it's a long skinny sort of scarf where you can wrap it around once or twice around your neck. So there's this one for people who live in cold climates. There you go. Uh, and then we have this one, and I think that's what this one is, is the Good Luck Cowl by, um, I think it's Christiane Gertzner. Yarn is unknown. Again, I think it's some of a cotton something blend. Maybe spandex. I mean, it is stretchy. Not sure. Again, um, I made this like a thousand years ago. <laughs> this has scalloped edges on both. This is the kind of cowl that you can wrap around your neck twice, or you can just wrap around once and it kind of hangs down. Um, I wish I could tell you the yarn, but I can't. I looked it up on Ravelry and evidently I did not take a photo of this or document this cowl. So I had to look through... Um, that binder book you saw in the beginning shot, I had to look through that to find out or try to match up the pattern in the um, cowl to see if it matched something I got out of this binder. All right, so there's that one. That's number three. Number four and five are this exact same pattern done in different colors. These are called, I think it's called the Mary Scarf. I'm not really sure. By Wallace, at Wallace Knits by Linda Johnson. Um, this is made from Misty Mountain Farm alpaca, alpaca lace. It's 100% alpaca. It must be hand washed. Um, I just wash mine in the uh, bathroom sink, to be honest with you. <laughs> and then I take it out. I um, wring it out. And I let it dry, scrunched up. Then I take an iron with a very delicate setting, very low setting. And... Um, with a little bit of steam, and I laid it flat on a tea, some of you guys call them tea towels, I, where I'm from they're called cup towels, and um, 
I just iron it nice and flat, kind of straighten it out as I go, just do a little bit, just kind of give it a nice little soft once over, spritz of steam, mull down to the next one. So this is lace. So this is very thin yarn. I don't think this is cobweb lace, but this is lace. And this is a mustard yellow color, and then I have a lavender. I had a red one I was going to use, but it bled in the sink, and I decided I didn't want anybody to have yarn that bleeds like that for an auction. So I'm keeping that one for myself. So these are this is these two, and they're the exact same pattern. It's just that um, one is done with a larger size needle than the other, so one's slightly smaller than the other, but they're the exact same pattern made with the same yarn company, just different colors and different size knitting needles. That's those. Okay, this one I can tell you what it is for sure because it was knit in 2022 during the pandemic. And this is a, a very popular person in knitting circles. This is the Boneyard Shawl by Stephen West. And the yarn is Juniper Moon Farm. Thinly DK. It's 50% silk, 50% merino wool, which any of you who are knitters know that merino wool is very soft wool. Um, I would hand wash this and then lay it out flat, or I will I would hang it to dry, but it just you need to be careful with it. So what makes it the boneyard shawl is all of these ribbing the ribbing here, and then it has Let's see, is that the top? Yes, this is the top. This is the top of the shawl. And it's got ribbing all the way down. And this is a variegated um, blue yarn with shades of blue in it. I knit this for someone and decided not to give it to her. <laughs> and I used something else instead. So again, this is the Boneyard Shawl by Stephen West. Stephen West has a line of knitted things. And I think he lives in Amsterdam. I know he lives overseas in the nether in the Netherlands somewhere. We'll see like that. So these are items that will be up for sale in the auction. And no, I did not put art stuff because I just thought this might be something a little different that interest would interest people who live in cold climates. And it's very cold right now in a lot of parts of the United States. So these are my contributions to help Jenna and her family. So if you like knitted items, knit items, please bid on these in the auction on February the 4th to benefit Janet Bauckham and her family. Thank you very much. See you guys in the next video. And uh, have a happy auction. Bye.